Hey guys, it's Anissa Lamara. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hello. Hope you guys subscribe and like what you see. And if you are a returning subby, welcome back my love books. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. As y'all can see, my hair looks a hot mess. I actually go and get my hair done next week. I'm going to the salon. I'm taking out the red. It's great in theory and short term. It's beautiful. But as you can see, it is not growing out very pretty. I have like three different hair colors going on in the front. So I think if I ever was to do the pop of color again, I would not get it in the front. I would get maybe like a sliver in the back somewhere or something like that. I would not do this situation again um, but it was fun when I got it it was beautiful when I got it so I'm not gonna complain about it it's just you know time to move on so I'm gonna be documenting my hair each day so you'll get to spend a week in my natural hair daily it'll consist of obviously my wash day which is today a nighttime routine um waking up to refresh it um getting ready for a photo shoot and what it's gonna be looking like by Thursday <laughs> and what it's gonna be looking like by Saturday. So I am going to um, go ahead and get started right now. brand I've worked with before not on here you guys haven't seen them but it's in view curls it's not a sponsored video by the way this is just what I've been using their shampoo conditioner and also their mask what I always do for my leave-in is the melanin hair by natural natural 85 her hair collection I've always used Mo nose hair stuff so um, you guys will see what I use once I get to that point right now <laughs> I have to wash it and condition it and decondition it I'm gonna take it down for y'all so y'all can really see the travesty that is my hair right now. Ugh, it's just caught all in the stuff, just shedding everywhere. Um, yeah, so it's dry as powder. I can't do no photo shoot with my hair looking like this, so I have to get this done ASAP. So let's get started. Okay guys, so first I'm going to go in and wet my hair thoroughly Um, I just started separating it because my hair is so, so dry. Like literally the water is sitting on top of it. So the porosity has shifted in my hair. Um, and I also have a lot of product buildup on top of it being super dry right now. Um, but, you know, we're going to get it together. So um, that is my hair just with water in it. So the first thing I'm going to do is wash it with the Imbue Curls. Um, shampoo and some moisturizing shampoo and um, it also is really great for clarifying as well like it really gets in there and takes off all of the product buildup which is a lot this go around I don't know why I have so much product in my hair as you can see I'm always kind of like gently detangling it as I go because I want the detangling process to be super super easy so this is just the conditioner now I'm going to wash this out and put in the deep conditioner. So now I'm going to rinse all of the conditioner out. And as you can see, um, the water is soaking into my hair a lot more because all that nasty product buildup is gone. Um, my hair is really starting to kind of like come alive again. And I'm using warm to lukewarm water on my hair. Um, I never use hot or like cold, cold water. So now... I'm going to use their deep conditioning mask and FYI, all this will be listed in the description box. With my deep conditioners, I make sure I apply more water than product because the water is going to help it evenly um, distribute and it also prevents you from using so much product. And then I'm just going to twist it into different sections and finish it out like that. And that is pretty much the deep conditioning process this time around. Yeah, so this is what my hair looks like fresh out of the shower with nothing in it. Um, and that is what it looks like. It's starting to get dry a little bit. Um, but that is what it looks like from the back. So now, leave-in conditioner. Okay, so this is the Mono's Hair Curl Primer. And it's a lightweight leave-in treatment. So I'm just going to spray my whole head 
and section my hair and begin to braid it. So first I'm gonna use the Orbe Priming Lotion. This is a leave-in conditioning detangler. And what I love about this stuff is the detangling properties. Okay, so I'm gonna rub that in my hair and make sure I evenly distribute it by adding more water. Um, and then I'm gonna first detangle it using my wide tooth comb, making sure that I get like the big tangles out. And I wanna start from the bottom and working my way up. And then I'm gonna go in and add the Amo Nose Hair Curl Pudding. And I'm going to evenly distribute that on the same section, um, spraying more water as needed. And then I'm gonna go back in with the comb to further distribute the products and detangle my hair. And then I also use the Imbu Curl Cream Gel as well. This stuff is my favorite, favorite, favorite because the slip is out of this world. And again, I'm only adding a little bit of the product because I don't want product buildup this time around, which is why I'm using so much water to make sure that it's evenly distributed. And then I'm using this detangler brush. I'm probably going to stop using this detangler brush. Although it does detangle with my hair, I I feel like I get it done better with the dimming brush and I've noticed a little bit more breakage. So the next time I will not be using that anymore. Um, so I'm going to go in and just do my plain old braids. You guys have seen me braid my hair a million times before. This is really my go-to because I love the way that it stretches my hair out. And I also love the way that, you know, I can keep it in the braids in a little bit of a protective style. Then what I also like to do is go over it like that and get all that extra out. Um, but sometimes if I don't do that and that stuff is just sitting, it won't um, be fully dry in the morning. It is day three. I left my hair braided up for two days. So now I'm going to um, take out the braids and unwrap them because I have a photo shoot today. So um, I use a little bit of oil. I forgot what oil it was, but I'm using that to take down the, the uh, I want to say twist so bad, to take down the braids. And as you can see, it's looking good. So I'm going to stretch it out now, as I always do with my blow dryer on the medium setting. And as you can see, the difference is bomb. So I'm just going to pick it out a little bit more. And that's pretty much it. So this is my day three hair. This is how I'm pretty much gonna wear my hair for the photo shoots. Um, I'm probably gonna like move it over from side to side with the different looks or whatever. Which is why I don't put gel in my hair anymore because I want my hair to be pliable and I want to be able to move it around. I don't really care if it gets frizzy. I did um, notice that my hair is still very, very defined, especially in the front. So I want to really make sure that I don't like fluff it out too much where all the definition is going. Fluff it out a little bit more. So this is day three, really day one hair. So we gonna see what it's gonna look like after this photo shoot. So stay tuned for day four. Hey y'all, as you can see, my hair is a absolute mess. Um, I've been wearing it in a pineapple at night, but between working out and when I take a bath, I kind of like relax and I, like I kind of let water get in my hair a little bit. So it's frizzed up a lot, um, but I have a photo shoot tomorrow again. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna rebraid it because I don't have time to do that for it to rebraid and for it to dry. What I'm going to do is just section it and do some bigger coiling where I see there's like additional frizz. And I might rebraid the front. All right, so y'all, I was not happy about my hair freezing up, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So um, I'm just gonna take some of that cream gel that I was using for the first day um, and I'm just going to take that and run that through my hair and, and just do some finger coils. That's really it. And I'm just going to section it 
Um, so I do want it to be slightly stretched out in the morning. This took about 45 minutes to complete, but I made sure that I re-wet my hair, but not too much because again, I did not want my hair to be damp in the morning time. And then in the front of my hair, I just re-braided it for the extra definition, which I'm really happy that I did because the photos turned out amazing. Yeah, so I just basically just re-tangled it, um, which is pretty easy in the front because my curls are looser. Um, and then just braided it and that's pretty much it. All right, y'all, so I'm on my last little section that I'm gonna pour some water on, put some products and finger coil it, and then I'm going to put a bonnet on and go to sleep. I am going to record me getting ready in the morning, um, just the hair portion so you guys can see how it turned out. So fingers crossed that these dry for tomorrow morning. All right, y'all, so it is day six and my hair is slightly damp. So I'm going to go in with the blow dryer and blow it out and stretch it out as well. Making sure that it was fully dry because it's cold. It was cold this morning, so I did not want to go out with wet hair. Um, and then I went and undid the braids, which I'm so glad I did because it really brought in that extra definition that I needed in the front. And that's pretty much it. So this is day six and got one more day to go. Okay, so I'm rushing right now, so I can't talk long, but this is how my hair turned out. Still a little bit damp in the front, but I think I pretty much got what I wanted to get done to it. So now I'm about to get ready for my photo shoots. So it's Saturday, and so, this is how my hair has healed up. It's gotten a little frizzy, but that's all right. Um, so yeah, that is a week in my hair. Um, so probably tonight, not gonna lie to y'all, not gonna hold, probably gonna end up throwing this in a pineapple and calling it a day. <laughs> like this is, this, this is looking crazy <laughs> in the front. Um, but in the back, she look good. So that is how my hair has held up. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it and I had a lot of fun filming it. Obviously I didn't catch the nighttime because nighttime I was out, but I literally just threw it in a pineapple every night. But the next one I will make sure so you guys can see the nighttime routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you think. Let me know how your weekly routines go. And until next time, see you guys later. Bye.